Welcome to the new series of tutorials of Tecno Smart Devices. These tutorials will help you to make the most of our tags. In this video, we will walk you through the use of our accelerometer GPS tag, the AxiTrack. This device can record paired GPS and acceleration data with a very small size and weight. Our highly sensitive GPS performs well even in wooded or urban areas and activity budgets can be calculated from accelerometer data independently of location and environmental conditions. These two sensors complement each other and allow you to get a complete overview of your study species behaviour. We have developed two versions of the AxiTrek, AxiMarine and AxiMini. AxiTrek Mini weighs only 1.6 grams without battery and is ideal if small size is key. AxiTrek Marine has been designed for seabirds and other marine animals but has been used successfully on terrestrial species as well. It's your best option if you need maximum waterproofing and sturdiness. The latter two can be programmed to condition GPS recording, saving battery and allowing for longer recordings. Moreover, all sensors can be custom scheduled and you can choose to delay the start of the recording. To switch on the device, swipe the magnet close to the tag. It will blink at 1 Hz until it has found a GPS connection. After 20 seconds, the device has started recording. If you swipe the magnet now, the LED will turn on for 1 second and then turn off again. This won't affect the device which will remain on and will keep recording. To switch off the device, hold the magnet close until the LED turns off, then move it away very quickly. The switching off is signaled by a long blink followed by three fast ones. Now let's configure our device. First, make sure you have a Software X Manager installed. If not, go to our website technosmart.eu, go on Support, Download, and download the X Manager software and install it. Connect the device to the cable this way. Pay attention to the cable LED lights. They need to be on the same side as those on the tag. Now launch X Manager. Select the COM port here. Swipe the magnet on the device until it starts to blink once per second and click Connect. Now you're connected to your Axi 5. Now let's configure the GPS. Click here to read the current GPS settings. Here you can choose to set a daily or weekly schedule. Select the latter if you want each day of the week to have different GPS settings. Then set up to 5 intervals per day. For each interval you can set the GPS to record at a certain frequency or to be off. Recording can be continuous, 1 Hz, or up to 1 fix every 12 hours. You can also choose a multi-fix setting, where you can choose your preferred number of fixes for a certain time period. Once finished with scheduling, under the settings tab you can set a start delay either in minutes from switch on or by setting a date. The acquisition settings affect the GPS functioning. The on time is the maximum time spent searching for a signal, while the off time is the time spent in sleep in case no signal is found. This section refers to the conductivity sensor. If present, raw data recording needs to be enabled. If not, leave it unchecked. The remote tab is only relevant if you have a remote taxi track and is explained in this other video. Here you can save the schedule and load it to configure the tags in the same way. Remember to send settings to the unit. To configure the axi track accelerometer, click here. You can set different parameters such as sample rate, G full scale and resolution. You can also choose to record in bursts. This allows you to save memory in case you don't need continuous accelerometer recording. Here you can enable the internal or if available the external temperature and pressure sensors. We have a variety of external sensors that can be mounted on this tag depending on your needs. To activate GPS recording only when the animal is actively moving, you can set a movement threshold here. The raw data will be in compressed ARD files which need to be converted. Keep in mind that if your axi track comes with a pressure sensor, before converting it, you need to open the general settings and select what kind of sensor you have, whether air or depth. Then click on convert and choose the file. A window with several options pops up. The conversion settings are rather self-explanatory. Check these last two options if, in addition to the complete CSV, you'd like the GPS data to be also in a separate file. This tag has an internal clock which syn synchronizes with the system time on your computer when it's first connected. 
If for whatever reason you need to override the internal device time, you can check this box and set a custom start time. Then choose whether you want your data in millibars or converted to meters above sea level. For that, you'll need to set the air pressure value at sea level as a reference. If you're planning to upload your data in MoveBank, click here to automatically choose settings that are compatible with their requirements. Once you're ready, click on Done. The blue bar now shows the conversion progress. The converted data will be in the same folder as the raw files. You'll have a CSV, an additional TXT and KML if you have selected the option. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please get in touch.